Hey you guys, as promised, I'm back to show you guys how I make my crock pot turkey necks. Um, this is one of the easiest, easiest recipes anyone can make. It's super simple. It only takes a few ingredients and it's really, really delicious once it's done. So in this crock pot, I have about, I would say like three pounds maybe of turkey necks that have already been cut into pieces and washed. Um, to that, I just added some seasoning, which I use my own seasoning blend. It's like an all-purpose seasoning, but you guys feel free to use whatever you normally season your food with. Um, but yeah, so that's what I use as far as the seasoning goes, which I'm going to add more at the end once I add the liquid to the pot. So so on the cutting board, I already have some vegetables that I slice. This, these are the vegetables I use every single time I make turkey necks. I don't switch up this recipe at all. It tastes really good as is. Um, I have some onions sliced here, bell pepper, some bay leaves, and two cloves of garlic that I mashed already. That's completely optional. I know a lot of people might not like garlic, but I love garlic. I use it with just about everything. So. I have that. I slice these vegetables fairly thickly because they're gonna kind of wilt away as they cook. It's gonna be cooking for about six hours, so they're gonna kind of wilt away a little bit. So I don't want them to completely disappear once they cook. So yeah, like I said before, I have already pre-seasoned these with all-purpose seasoning. And the thing that I like to add that gives it just a little kick is this Slap Your Mama. <laughs> this is one of my favorite things to use. It has like a hint of spice, but not too much that it's like overpowering or too spicy, but it really gives turkey necks such a good flavor. Trust me when I tell you this, you would want to add some. So I'm going to add this after I add the liquid in. I cook my turkey necks with chicken broth. It makes a big difference to me, but again, all this stuff is completely optional. You can use water if you want to, that's perfectly fine. So I'm just gonna add it right in on top. So as you can see, I've added the chicken broth to the pot. I just like to barely cover it. Like once it pretty much covers it, I, I don't add any more liquid. I don't like to add too much liquid when I make these. Um, the gravy I add, I would say about when it has at least like two hours left. I don't add mine at the beginning, just a personal preference. No particular reason why I do that. I just do it towards the very end of the cooking process. So we're going to go ahead and add in the onions on top. And I would say I use about almost a whole medium onion sliced up. And then I'm gonna add in the green peppers, the two cloves of garlic, and the bay leaves. So these are gonna cook, like I said, for about six hours. Again, I cook them on high for about six hours, and about after four hours, I add the gravy. I like to use these McCormick um, pouch gravies, whatever, however you want to call it. The way I do these is once I'm ready to add it in, I just get a little bit of liquid from the pot. I mix the gravy in a bowl with some of the liquid from the pot, mix it around, add about a tablespoon of cornstarch to kind of help it thicken up, and I just pour it on top. And it's a really nice gravy when it's done. And of course, I will show you guys the finished product later. Bye.